during the course of learning anatomy, you will add hundreds of words to your vocabulary. Many of the words are derived from Greek and Latin. Learning of anatomy starts with learning the anatomical terminology. There are more than 7,000 words in the Terminologia Anatomica. I will explain some of the commonly used words. Specific words are used to describe the relationships, movements, and positions. The objectives for this session are Traditionally, anatomical descriptions are based with a person in the anatomical position, which is standing erect, facing forwards, arms by the side, the palms facing forwards, the feet together, and the toes facing forwards. The median plane also called the mid-sagittal plane, divides the body into two equal halves, right and left. The sagittal plane divides the body into two unequal halves and is parallel to the median plane. The coronal plane also called the frontal plane, divides the body into a front and a back. It is perpendicular to the previous two planes. This specimen was obtained by dividing the body in horizontal plane at these two places. The horizontal plane, also called the transverse plane, is at right angles to the previous three planes and divides the body into an upper and a lower part. This two millimeter thick horizontal slice is at the level of the heart. Now identify the planes in the four sections. Anterior or ventral is nearer the front. Posterior, also called dorsal, is nearer the back. Superior is nearer the head, so also called cranial or cephalic, whereas inferior is nearer the feet and also called caudal. Medial is nearer the midline. Lateral is further away from the midline. Looking at the hand, the little finger is medial while the thumb is lateral. Proximal is nearer the point of attachment. Distal is further away from the point of attachment. These two terms are generally used in the extremities. My elbow is distal to the shoulder, but proximal to the wrist. The joints between the three bones in the finger are called proximal and distal interphalangeal joints. Superficial is nearer the surface, deep is further away from the surface. 
ipsilateral is on the same side, whereas contralateral is the opposite sides. Movements are produced by muscles and occur at joints. Flexion is bending, a decrease in angle. You can think of flexion as the fetal position. Extension is opposite of flexion and is straightening. Abduction is moving it away from the midline or the point of reference as in abducting the arms. And adduction, adduction is adding it, bringing it back together. However, in the case of fingers, the reference point is the middle finger. Watch as I abduct and adduct my fingers. The middle finger itself can be abducted in either direction. Opposition is bringing the thumb together to any of the four fingers. Opposite movement is reposition. Supination and pronation occur at the proximal and distal radio ulnar joints. In supination, the forearm moves so that the palm faces up or forwards. And in pronation, the forearm moves so that the palm faces down or backwards. In both these movements, it is the radius which moves and the ulna just follows through. Inversion and eversion are limited to the feet. In inversion, you turn the foot so that the sole faces inwards. These movements take place at the subtalar joints. In eversion, the sole of the foot faces outwards. Dorsiflexion and plantar flexion are also limited to the feet. These movements take place at the ankle joint. Dorsiflexion of foot corresponds to extension of the wrist, while plantar flexion corresponds to flexion. Protraction is pushing forwards, as in protracting the mandible, and retraction is taking it back. Elevation of the shoulders is to raise them, as in shrugging, and depression is to bring them back down. Axilla is the armpit. Brachium is the arm between the shoulder and the elbow. Cubitus is the region of the elbow. The forearm is between the elbow and the wrist. Wrist is the carpus. This is the palm. Here are the five digits. The thumb is called the pollux the index finger, the middle finger, the ring finger. By the way, do you know why they call this the ring finger? And not just because they put wedding rings or engagement rings on this finger, because they thought that there was a direct connection between this finger and the heart, and that is not true. And this is the digiti minimi, or the little finger. Frontal is the front. Orbits are the sockets for the eyes. Nares are the openings leading into the nose. Buckle is refers to the cheek. Oris or oral refers to the mouth. Mentis is the chin. Hyoid is this U-shaped bone just below the mandible. Sternum is the 
breastbone, clavicle is the key, this S-shaped bone, occiput is the back of the head, so this is the occipital bone, nuchal is the back of neck or the nape of neck, lumbar is between the ribs and the pelvis and is also called the loin, natus is the buttock, the natal cleft, thigh is between the hip and the knee, popples is back of the knee, leg is the section between the knee and the ankle, perron is the skewer or the fibula, it is on the lateral side. The big toe is called the hallux, 